Lisa Ross Stewart. I work for the California Academy of Sciences. Uh, I am, today I'm going to show you the leaf cutter game camp in our rainforest uh, and also uh, how I release butterflies. Also on the leaf cutter ant mount, um, I access that every day and do some maintenance work and feed out uh, leaf brows for them to cut and take back to their chambers. So this is our leaf cutter ant mount uh, here at the Academy of Sciences. This is in our rainforest. And the leafcutter ants, they are actually fungus farmers. Uh, they harvest leaves from the forest and they carry them back to their mounds. This is a section here of uh, what it would look like underground. And they create uh, these gardens uh, underground in chambers, as you can see here. Um, and they, there are many, many ants. Uh, they are all female, usually, except for the reproductive stage. And this is what it looks like behind the scenes. You can see that we, ha we can access the chambers uh, from the back, and this is how they all connect together. And then in this bin over here is where I open it up, and I remove their old brows that they've taken the leaves away and I actually add more every single day. So they have new leaves to cut from and take into their garden chambers. So the ants are contained within this mound and they have access to this tub where we feed out the brows um, and they can crawl up sides. However, we paint it with the substance called fluon and that makes it so it's very slick and you can kind of see the ants that are trying to get up on the side but they can't quite get a good foothold on that fluon strip. So that's how we keep them inside so they don't go out and start cutting leaves in our rainforest. So within the community of ants, uh, each, each ant has a different role and their different sizes also uh, determine their role as well. There are the very tiniest ones, the minims, uh, they will. They usually stay within the chambers, uh, within the mound, and a lot of times they are nursemaids to the queen. Uh, they feed the other ants. Uh, they kind of, you know, do the domestic work. Um, there are the collector ants that go out and forage, uh, cut leaves, and bring them back. Um, the soldiers, the largest ones, you can see one over here. Um, they are solely for defense purposes. And of course we only have one queen and she is inside one chamber and she is laying eggs most of the day. And one kind of neat thing too about the, the smallest ones, they assist in uh, when they go out to collect leaves, they will actually ride back uh, on top of a leaf um, to defend the ant that is carrying it from uh, this certain kind of parasitic fly that comes and attacks the ant. So you can a lot of times see a tiny little ant getting a ride back on a cut leaf. and release 